everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Brent Rollins with Spraylock Concrete Protection. We got a little bit different video this, today. We're going to be talking about the components of concrete. Some of you may be new to the concrete world. And I remember my first time thinking about concrete. I, I was a kid. I was 16 years old and my dad had worked in the industry for a long time, but I hadn't thought about it much until I went to the concrete plant one day for my first summer job. And then once I started digging into it, I found out that no, you don't call concrete cement. <laughs> that was a good way to get people really angry with you really quickly. So I'll explain that first. We're gonna start with that. You see, cement is the gray powder that comes from the process of harvesting rock out of the ground, grinding it or, or breaking it into smaller rock, putting it through a kiln, grinding it to a fine powder, and then it's ready to be an ingredient in concrete. Cement is to concrete, much like flour is to bread. So when you talk about a sidewalk, it's always a concrete sidewalk. It's not a cement sidewalk. Otherwise it would be gray powder just lying on the ground. Now, that is the, a very important part of the concrete mix is the cement because without it, the concrete doesn't get hard. However, the aggregates are also part of the mix design. Aggregates are also known as rock and sand. So you're gonna hear coarse aggregate that refers to materials larger than the 3 8 sieve or 3 8 and larger. Fine aggregate or sand is less than the 3 8 sieve. So when I say 3 8 I'm talking 3 8 of an inch. So you got rock and sand and how all those sizes fit together. The rock comes in different sizes, the sand comes in different sizes, and those puzzle pieces fit together to make a concrete mix that ideally is going to be dense and durable. Cement and water, rock and sand. Everything else is going to be an admixture or a mineral additive. Those are the basics. If you go beyond that, then you have things like supplementary cementitious materials or pozzolans and admixtures. And we'll talk about those in some future videos. Did you know that more concrete is used every year than all other building materials combined? In fact, twice as much concrete is used as all other building materials combined. In fact, concrete is the second most widely used substance on the planet behind only water. That's amazing. I'm gonna put this into perspective for you. If you were to make a concrete sidewalk four inches deep by four feet wide, using the concrete that we produce on the earth every year, it would wrap the equator about 880 times or make a trip to the moon and back somewhere around 48 times. That's a lot of concrete, folks. And the sad thing is that too much of it is having to be replaced. We need to do a better job of making our concrete last longer. And we can do that by paying closer attention to the things that we make concrete out of and the way that we treat our concrete. So if I can help you in any way or Spraylock can help you in any way, make your next concrete project a success. Give us a call. Save time and money while consistently delivering superior performance. Spraylock Concrete Protection. Superior Concrete.